I came in Carlsbad Caverns National Park and I was going to do some above ground hiking today but the wind is really bad outside, um, 60 miles an hour and is described as being destructive. I think I'm going on the uh, underground tour which I've been on before um, and I know my camera is probably not going to work very well down there but I will give it a go and see what gets seen. So here's the natural entrance. Um, Nature America's knew about it for years, but there's no evidence that they ventured very far inside. It wasn't until around 1898 that a man named Jim White fashioned some very spindly ladders and made his way into the cave by the natural entrance. This is cool, this is using the rocks as a little natural bridge to walk under. There's another one that's being blasted into the rock here. Looking back towards the natural cave entrance now. Okay, you might be able to just see me. Okay, so how was this cave formed? Well, hundreds of millions of years ago, there would be a reef by a sea, possibly an inland sea, and then 60 million years ago or so, Sulfuric acid would start eating away at the limestone, the rock that had formed, and that would produce caverns, and then ceilings would collapse, and the caverns would get bigger. And then more recently, you get the stalagmites and the stalactites, which are formed by water dripping and containing minerals. Just here I can see some quite huge boulders on the cavern floor that will most likely have come from the natural entrance and just rolled down. This is the very bottom of the natural entrance and this is the way that the original explorer Jim White would have had to come down. Find all these rocks and columns and massive cave. This is going to be the last bit of natural light that I see for a while. I'm just walking next to one of the boulders now, you see the scale of it. That these all have come loose and helped form this entrance. And this is looking ahead and this is the, the level of light that's there's going to be from now on that bit there was known as the twilight zone it's the point between the darkness of the cave and where you can still see the natural light and if there was algae growing you know, there was still natural light and at this point onwards it's all dark and I'll just describe what the air feels like it's kind of cool and slightly damp you can hear drippings other than that, it's quiet when you pass other people. Some of them are making quite a lot of noise, but I'm just in this little section by myself and it's very, very quiet. Hard to tell whether that's a stalagmite or a stalactite because it touches. And there's a stalagmite next to it, and that's one day that's going to join up, but not yet. And this is a pool in the cavern pool. 
can't really describe the size of this cave on that. It is truly massive. This one's nicknamed the Whale's Mouth. And the little caption says draperies and flowstone. So it's a pretty interesting formation. It's made like teeth. Now that looks like a huge rock. The camera's not picking it out, but it is massive. And up above, there's sort of a dome in the ceiling. So that rock must have come from there. You can see all the cracks on this wall called joints. And it's where water will be dissolving the rock in a process called solutioning. And on this side, we get to see water leaving rock when it's dripping down. Here, a really cool stalagmite that is just a finger. Just here is Iceberg Rock, which once would have been part of the ceiling, but it's now come down. It's actually 200,000 tons, so this is a big rock. We can almost just see the top of it. You know, like an iceberg, there's a lot underneath as well. We are working our way around Iceberg Rock still, and we're entering what is called Green Lake Room. See, it's got some stalactites, a really thick one just here. I'm sure, we'll get to look at that in a little while. Now we're meeting up with the people who took the elevator down, so it's a lot more crowded. This is the route to the big room. I believe it's over a mile around trip. And we're going to stay mostly flat now. Just going to have a look at all the really cool different stalactites and stalagmites and rock formations. You can see the rougher stalagmites in the process known as popcorn because they look like little bits of popcorn all piled up. They're not the typical smooth um, stalagmites that you, you normally expect. Here's popcorn. stalagmite and stalactite we're almost about to touch but the stalactite is almost a drapery you can see it's long and knife-like <coughs> thin on one edge and here are some really huge stalagmites Over here an example of some of the thinner stalactites known as soda straws and they're supposed to be hollow on the inside. There's um, a fairly big cluster of them just here. See the long and needle-like. Here is the lion's tail which is actually a stalactite with popcorn forming on the end. These are known as the Halls of Giant, and you see three huge stalagmites. 
And these will start off very small, just like all the other. You can see, there's another two trying to catch them up. The tall one that I thought was a stalagmite is actually a column, you can see. Just at the top, it's converged with a stalactite. Just here is Fairyland. It's a field of popcorn covered stalagmites. It's not lit up very well, but you can see some more behind me. Imagine that, but lots more. See, um, it's this is what makes Carlsbad Karen so fantastic. Just there are just so many different types of stalagmites and stalactites and draperies. Here is a stalagmite in the making, and you can see. How the, the floor has been partially made by, by the minerals being left for the drippings, but it's also got big cracks. I think the best thing about Carlsbad Caverns is the fact that you're allowed to walk this route by yourself. You can go at your own pace and stop and look at the rocks that you find interesting. It's so much more enjoyable than going on as part of a tour. This is a ladder built by Jim White in 1924 as part of a six month exploration to the cave. And it goes 90 feet down to the lower cave. Some brave, brave people explored this cave. This is known as a jumping off place. And I'm overlooking the lower cave. It's 90 foot below. Now you won't be able to see this. But that's because this is a 140 foot drop called the bottomless pit. So if it looks pitch black, that's because it's meant to. Rising above it, there's actually a rocky area called Liberty Dome, and there's a crevice that leads to a, a small little room above it with guano deposits. This here is a huge block of gypsum, it's about 15 feet thick. And when it gets exposed to acidic water, it dissolves very easily, so you can see this shaft. That's just water dissolving the, the gypsum. This is one of the wet stalagmites, which means it's still growing. The process of water dripping onto it and leaving minerals is still happening. See this pool underneath and this amazing old thing. A lot of the stalagmites and stalactites what is known as dry, which means that the, the source of water that they were using to grow has dried up or is now taking a different route and forming a different stalagmite to stalactite. So if these two are dry, it means they are never going to touch so close, forever alone. This multi-layered column is known as the Rock of Ages. These are some of the soda straws which form by having a calcite ring forming around a source of water. That was a big room tour and now with all this buzz of noise you can hear that you're actually getting to the rest area. It's one of the most weird things I find about this entire place. Just listen to the noise. And this is the queue for the elevator to go back up for those people not walking. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed my tour in Carlsbad Caverns National Park. Um, if you ever have the opportunity, please do come out here and check it out for yourself because I'm fairly sure my camera work will never be able to do um, those caves and those, those amazing formations justice. It's really something you've got to see for yourself. So if this sort of thing interested you, then by all means come check this out.